Oh yeah, that's a decent brew. Mm. Hey, welcome to Skate the Box Piano, it's Dan here. If you, like me, have spent any time on YouTube, then a good chance that you've seen one or two Grammarly adverts. There's a particular favourite of mine, it's the uh, the one with the sushi, sh sushi, sushi, sushi chef. And um, in the background, whilst he's uh, he's talking about how Grammarly's helping him with his business, um, there's just like this lovely little um, piano composition. I, I don't know whether it's a classical thing or whether it was composed for the advert or whether it's just some royalty-free music. I have no idea. Maybe somebody with some good repertoire knowledge can uh, educate me on that. Anyway, it's a nice little piano line. It's kind of got this, I don't know, kind of uh, holiday, Parisian kind of feel. And uh, I thought I would transcribe it. So here's a little tutorial on uh, the Grammarly advert. Enjoy. Hokey dokey, this should be a pretty straightforward exercise. The entire little composition is only 16 measures long. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, we'll break this down hand separately in just a second. Before that, if you're interested in the kind of theoretical side of things, this is in compound time, it's in 6-8, and the pulse is 60 beats per minute where the beat is represented by a dotted crotchet. So if I stick 60 beats on the metronome, you kind of got an um pa pa um pa pa um pa pa kind of feeling. etc. Et We're going to play it uh, a lot slower. All right, let's take a look at the right hand first. Here is middle C. We are going to go an uh, octave and a half higher up to the G here. Get your thumb on that G. Here are the notes. G, A, B, C, B, C, B, G, E. Let's take a look at that. Let's move on. Get your thumb back on the G. Same initial sequence of six or seven notes. G, A, B, C, B, C, B. Now we're going to shoot up to E. Then C. Then B. Then A. Moving on, we're going to play the A again, that's going to be our new starting note. A, B, C, D, C, D, C. Shift down a little bit. F, G, A, B, A, B, A. Now stretch, G, and then G an octave above, then repeat that, G, G, and then land on E. That's the first half of the little composition. Okay, if we move on to measure nine, which is where we are now, the first... Um, Four measures of the second half are basically the same as the beginning. So, G, A, B, C, B, C, B, G, E. G, A, B, C, B, C, B, E, C, B, a. Mm. 
Moving on. Now we're going to play A, B, C, then jump up to F, back to C, back to F, back to C. Similar pattern, a couple of white notes further down. F, G, A, D, A, D, A. G, D, E, C. Meanwhile, in the left hand, here's middle C, that's where we're going to start. Get your fourth finger on middle C. What we're going to do is we're going to play held notes uh, in the kind of bottom half of the left hand and then play a chord over the top of it twice. Uh, and the kind of progression that you're going to see emerge is C, B, A, B, C, B, D, A. Let's go through it. So the first note is C, and then you're going to hold, you're going to play E and G twice over the top of it. The trick here is to make sure you hold down the bottom note, otherwise everything goes a little bit kind of dead and silent as opposed to, hopefully you can hear how that sounds quite a lot different. So holding down the C, play the E and G over the top twice. Okay, now to B and still the E and G over the top. A, keep the same at the top. Back to B. Back to C. B, D, and now change the note, just move in from the E to the F, still a G, but you're going to play F and G together. Sounds a little bit crunchy. A, still an F and G at the top. D, C, B, A, big stretch now, G, still the F and G at the top, G again, and then this time hold the chord, okay, and then play this sequence of notes, C, G, A, B, A, G. Okay, we're halfway through at this point. So the next half, very similar. Let's go back to the E and G. Okay, so the bass notes to look at, C. B. A. B. C. B. D, and then move up to the F and G. A. D, C, B, A, G, this time move up to B, Keep play that chord again twice at the top, the F and G twice, and then a broken chord of C major, C, E, G, C. Okay, have you got this far? Well done. Let's just play this together finally, slowly, mechanically, so you can see how everything locks together. And then after that, it's kind of down to you. Loads of practice, hands separately together, build up the speed. And remember, 60 beats per minute is your target. But of course, you can start a lot slower. Here, here's how everything locks together.
Well, I do hope you found this tutorial a little bit of fun and uh, enjoyed it. If you have, do please leave a like on the video. Um, leave some comments. What would you like to see transcribed or a tutorial for next? Subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of stuff, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.